Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SL7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing foot fantasy hero Jean Pierre Papin. So, as you can see, he is 5 foot 9, right footed, high medium work rates with 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot. He can play striker and centre forward only, so there's not really too many options there for positions. Then, looking at his stats, he's got 86 pace with 86 sprint speed. He's got 95 shooting with 96 positioning, 97 finishing, 97 volleys and 96 shot power. He's got 75 passing as well with 86 curve and 86 dribbling with 91 agility, 90 balance and 95 reactions. He's got 95 heading accuracy as well as 79 physical with 90 jumping. So those are the key stats in this card, that's what should make him good. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays and I'll give you guys my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So, getting into the first clip here, we get into the ball here with Papan. We play a beautiful through pass there to Eden Hazard. Hazard with a finish across the goalkeeper. Beautiful pass, beautiful finish, great team play. Onto the ball now with Jezinho. We do step up here with Papan to score the tap in. Easy, open goal, finish. Next up here, we get the ball back with Papan once again. We go for the shot across the keeper and once again rolls it into the back of the net. Next up, we find Hazard with the ball here, played across to Papan and a nice acrobatic finish there. A bit unnecessary with the cross, we should have just passed it, but it's fine. Papan is there, he's not going to miss it. He just throws himself with the ball, launches himself into the air and finishes the chance. And we get the ball here again with Papan. We are going to square for Hazard this time. Once again, returning the favour for each other and scoring a goal. Ball played over the top here to Papan. We go for goal in the weak foot there. Absolutely Spectacular finish, just blast that ball into the top corner, past the goalkeeper, giving him no chance whatsoever. Papan on the ball here, he shows a great bit of pace to get past the defender, and we go for goal across the keeper there from a very, very tight angle. That was actually a fantastic finish from him, very surprised he scored that, I did not expect that at all, but that just shows you how good his finishing really is. Hazard on the ball, across to Papan, and once again, another acrobatic finish from him. I mean, just highlighting how good his finishing is. Like I said, he just throws himself at the ball and he manages to connect with it and score every time. Another little trip and finish there and keeper no chance yet again. Jezinho on the ball here, he plays it through to Papan. We go for goal into the near post again, this time with a weak foot and he does make no mistake as he scores that. Hazard with a nice bit of dribbling here to pretty much evade all the defenders. Ball falls to Papan and he throws it into the near post, beating the keeper all ends up just with a great finish all round. Papan on the ball here, he plays his pass over the top to Eden Hazard, who follies the home past the keeper. Keeper just stands still, no chance at all. Papan on the ball here again, we go for the rainbow flick into the power shot, an absolute beautiful power shot there. He just throws the ball home past the keeper, no chance for him whatsoever. Just such beautiful connection there, perfect strike, brilliant goal. And you can see here again, his technique is just immaculate, keeper with no chance whatsoever. Up next, we get onto the ball here with Jezinho. We played across to Papan and we do some nice dribbling with him here to get past two defenders and slot the ball home past the goalkeeper across the face of the net with the weak, with the weak foot. Just a great all-round finish. He comes up here, good positioning, scores the tap-in from Eden Hazard before finding himself in another position here. We are on the weak foot once again. I mean, as you can see, he scores so many goals in his weak foot. I mean, his finishing is just absolutely flawless. He makes no mistake like most times and again it's just absolutely crazy to watch. And this time we have Papan on the ball again across the keeper. Keeper gets a touch onto it but ball finds the back of the net nonetheless. Papan on the ball here, he flicks it over his head, he goes for the volley there. An absolutely ferocious strike, so so powerful, so well struck. That ball just flies over the keeper, no chance for him at all. Finds the back of the net, just a beautiful goal from him, beautiful shot and just a chance created out of absolutely nothing. And up next here, we get onto the ball with Papan again, played back to Hazard. This is a counter attack from the opposition's corner. We do go ahead and score it, we make no mistake there. Another assist for the big boy, Papan. Out wide, we get the ball with Pogba, we play through to Papan, into Eden Hazard there. Beautiful all-round play, we find the back of the net. Hard shooting across the keeper there with Eden Hazard and Papan comes right back again here, beats the defender and scores past the goalkeeper, making absolutely no mistake once again. I mean this guy is just outrageous with his finishing and we come back in again here, square the ball to him and once again another bit of interlinking play for a tap-in. 
Okay, so we actually only played eight games with this card because I did disconnect from two games. So in eight games, he's got 18 goals and six assists. That is 24 goal contributions in just eight games with this card, which honestly highlights and underlines how absolutely insane he is. Okay, so I'm going to just run through this card stack by stack and then I'll give you an overview at the end. So starting off with pace, I mean, he's got 86 pace, but with the Hunter, honestly, you don't notice that his pace isn't the highest. He really does feel quick. He feels rapid on the ball. He's so fast. I mean, you saw a lot of opportunities here where he just raced in behind and, you know, they couldn't catch him. So in terms of pace, he's actually very quick. You're not going to have any problems there. When it comes to shooting, this guy is an absolute demon in front of goal. His finishing is just unreal. His shooting ability is just, it's just crazy, crazy good. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. He will score everything. Give this guy a chance in the box, a half chance outside the box, a volley. It doesn't matter what it is. Honestly, he finishes everything. This guy's shooting is just absolutely outrageous. When it comes to passing, as well, his passing is actually very good, especially for a striker. His linker play is good. He can hold the ball up. He can play in his teammates. I mean, he's got very good interlinking play, so you're not going to have any problems there. And when it comes to dribbling, again, not the highest dribbling stat, but his dribbling is actually very good as well. He's very evasive on the ball, very quick. His movement with the ball at his feet is very fast as well. He's got a great left stick, so he can, you know, beat defenders pretty easily as well. And then he's got, for some reason, he's got the pace to get past them. So dribbling also, very good stat in this card. And when it comes to physical, he's a very strong player in game. He's not the tallest, but, you know, he's pretty stocky. He's got the, he's got the stock, he's got the strength. He can hold off the defenders and he's got the stamina as well to pretty much run most of the game. So you're not going to have any problems there. So all in all, what do I think of this card? Honestly, he is a fantastic card in this game. He's such a good player, such a fun player to use, such an exciting player to use. He's, he's just absolutely clinical beyond belief. I mean, you get this guy in your team, he's just going to score a boatload of goals. He's just absolutely crazy when it comes to finishing. He can do it all. He can dribble, he can run, he can pass as well. He's got everything in his locker. This guy is just absolutely outrageous. So do I give him the stamp of approval? 100%. Yes, I do. This guy is just a crazy player in game. Like I said, he's a game winner, he's a match winner, he's a goal scoring machine. It is Jean-Pierre Papin. So, what do I give him as a rating out of 10? He gets a 9.2 out of 10, which is a huge, huge rating. It's one of the highest ratings that I've given for any attacker on this game. And it puts him right up there with the elite level attackers, because honestly, that's where he deserves to be. That's where he belongs. He is so, so good in this game. A very good card to have. I mean. Also, he's only 300k, which is very, very cheap. The value for coins that he provides is actually insane. So you will never go wrong with getting this guy in your team and you will never regret it either. So the reason he gets a 9.2 out of 10 and not anything higher is because he is a live card, which means he does have space for upgrades, which means I do also have to leave space to increase his rating, increase his overall and, you know, to improve my review of him. So like I said, I can't give him much higher than 9.2 because he does have space for upgrades, he is going to increase, which means that his, his rating is going to go up as well. So, you know, I have to leave space for that as well. Okay, so anyway, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already. And until next time, guys, peace.